bilingual KYUK TV and radio stations play a major role in southwest Alaska for the Yupiks that live there. Transcending cultural differences is a major goal in broadcast. For KYUK, they're up to the challenge. Rhonda McBride has the story. <laughs> They are the yin and yang of Yupik news, the Dan Rather and Andy Rooney of the Eskimo War. Ever since Adolf came to KYUK, he has struggled over the morality of doing news. At one point, he even left the station, complaining the very act of reading the news put him in conflict with his culture. John has the same love-hate relationship with his job. Is broadcasting natural for you? Uh, it's natural in the sense of, of telling stories, but it's unnatural in that we're talking about other people. What about the word light bulb? Easy, light bulb. In Yupik, we call a light bulb Nakachukwok. <laughs> Literally, in English, imitation bladder. <laughs> it was so dark this morning, I had to turn my imitation bladder on. But all joking aside, both men have a very serious and very important job. They are the medium between their people and the Western world. KYUK television reaches at least five villages besides Bethel. The radio station reaches 11 or more villages. You can see more of John Active on Heartbeat Alaska this Sunday. Reporting for Nightcast, I'm Jeannie Green.